Hi, it's Joe again with another ProRip tip. If you're like most users, you might have seen this port fail to open error message at one time or another. What does it mean? Basically, it means you have not set up your ports yet. Under Queue and Manage Queues, you can see that all of our printers are set to file still. We need to associate a valid USB port or TCP IP port with each one of those. Simply click the down arrow. I'm connected by an IP address, so click TCP IP. The software will reach out and scan your network for all available printers. Choose your iColor printer there. Click OK. It's going to ask you if you want to set all the ports to this queue. So if I click yes, you'll see everything has set to my valid IP address of 192.168.1.12. Of course, that's not correct for anything except my iColor 600. Each one of these printers would need its own IP address or USB port set. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll leave it alone. Now there's an X over your image. Just go up here to this little broom dustpan, click clean up errors. Click your image again and go ahead and click print and out your job comes. So that was the method for TCP IP connection. Now we will go ahead and show you how to set up uh, for use with a USB port. So just click the down arrow. Look for your iColor printer in a list here. Um, it would likely say in this case unit iColor 600 USB 2 but it could say USB 1 or USB 3. Of course, if you have a 550, it would say 550 over here, but just look for any uh, combination of iColor printer with USB port. Click yes, and everything will change accordingly. If for some reason you don't see your printer in the drop down list here, um, of course, make sure it's plugged in, that it's turned on, uh, but just get out of ProRip launch it back up again. It's really important that the printer is on and active and totally woken up before you launch ProRip in order for it to show in this drop down list. If you uh, decide to turn it on or plug it in after you have already loaded ProRip, um, it might not show in this list. So that's the fix. And keep in mind, you might need to reset these ports also if you recently did a print mode update. That also deletes all the port settings. So you might get this error from time to time. Now you know what to do. Okay, thanks.